Start by laying oversized template to areas that are to be covered and secure in place with tape. Take a crayon or pencil and draw on top of the paper at the edge of the non-skid pattern or to the size that you desire. Find the center line and transfer it to the template. Cut the template out to full size and lay on deck to check that it fits. It is recommended to unroll the panel material at least one day before use in temperatures above 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the planks to lengths slightly bigger than your template. Make sure that the first plank is facing the right direction. Place the first plank up against a straight edge and weight it to make it solid. Apply an even bed into the female side of the joint. Put the new blank against the first and ensure that the planks are well joined. After 15 minutes, shave off any excess glue with a knife. Place the template on top of the panel. Put an emphasis on the alignment and tape the template to the panel. Mark the panel all the way around. If you want margin boards, use a compass set to 60 millimeters or a cutoff of margin board. Mark your panel all the way around the 60 millimeter back from the edge of the template. Cut the panel just outside the line and sand back to give an even edge. Cut your margin boards to correct lengths for each edge. Begin to glue the straight margin pieces. Push together until the glue is dry. Remove any excess glue with 60 grit sandpaper. Place a piece of the 125mm king plank under the panel and mark it with a pen. Cut the top portion out and check the fit, then pull it back 5mm so there is room to fill the groove in. Align the template on top of the panel and mark the king plank. Put the ruler against the corner of the panel and the corner of the king plank material and mark a line. Cut the piece out and check for the fit. Before you install the deck and the back side of the panel must be dry and cleaned with denaturated with alcohol. Dry fit the panel to check that it fits properly and lightly mark around perimeter with a pencil. If the panel is large, glue half the panel at a time. To do this, put weights on one half of the panel and fold the other side on top of it. Apply the glue and spread evenly. Roll the panel down into the glue and avoid air pockets. Smooth the panel out with your hands or with a roller. Add necessary perimeter margin planks, making sure that there is 5 mm between the pieces. When the panel is dry and the glue has set, mask up the areas to be caulked carefully with masking tape, leaving the tape 1 mm from the edge. Now fill the seams with caulking compound. Put soapy water on your fingers and smooth the top of the joint. Remove the tape while the sealant is still wet. Wait for the sealant to dry, then sand with 60 grit sandpaper going with the grain in the easy tick. Clean the edge with denaturated alcohol and put masking tape on the panel on the deck so there will be straight joints. Apply the necessary amount of sealant and use soapy water on your finger to smooth the seam so it becomes uniform. Remove the tape while the sealant is still wet. Once dry, the panel can be sanded along the top to remove any cork. Stand back and enjoy your new easy tea day. Yeah.